Many consumer products today are very form-driven, sculptural, and organic in shape. Multiple parts share portions of the same overall form. Using traditional bottom-up design methods, modeling these types of products would be very repetitive, time-consuming, and error-prone. Superhero design skills are not required. For some applications, we need superhero design methodologies. Using the master modeling technique, we design the final product first, and then we separate out the individual parts and create the assembly. This method will reduce errors while saving us tons of time and effort. Now the beauty of the master model technique is that it creates a parent-child relationship between the master and the child parts. When we make changes, we modify one part, the master model, and the child parts will update automatically. So let's see how the master model technique can increase quality and get your products to market faster. We have the form of a handheld device already designed. The split tool and the intersect tool are great ways to separate out bodies without having to remove or add material. We can use a variety of entity types as the trimming tool, and in this design we'll use sketches, planes, and surfaces. Adding surfaces as design aids will open up an array of new possibilities in our designs. In the split tool, we select the bodies to keep. With the intersect tool, we select the bodies to exclude. And with both, the resulting mating faces will be a perfect match. We can control the visibility of each body by selecting to hide or isolate it to add features. Adding features to a multi-body part is no different than adding features to a single body part. We're just applying features to specific bodies. Not only do we have the SOLIDWORKS features available to us in our multi-body parts, we also have all the SOLIDWORKS functionality available to us in our multi-body parts. We can roll back the feature tree to insert features before the intersect command. SOLIDWORKS makes it very easy for us to interact with our multi-body designs. Essentially, we're simulating an assembly in part mode. Our bodies represent each individual component. This is a good time to validate our design and check for interferences between the individual bodies. In 2019, SOLIDWORKS introduced interference detection in part mode for our multi-body parts. We see the cover interferes with the front and back housings. So let's add a cut. And by setting the feature scope option, this cut will only affect the specified cover body. Before we save out the bodies, let's rename each of them to the new part name. The Save Bodies command will push one body into one new part. From within the Save Bodies command, we have the option to create an assembly from our new parts. Green check, and SOLIDWORKS generates each new part file and builds the assembly for us. We're still in the master model, and at the bottom of the feature tree, we have the Save Bodies feature, indicating the child parts exist. Let's take a look at the assembly. Here are all the individual components. Opening the front housing part. This is just like any other SOLIDWORKS part. We can continue adding features here to the individual part as well. Let's make some changes and test that parent-child relationship. Our overall form is too thin, so let's modify the sweep and add some material. That looks much better. To add any new features, we must roll back before the Save Bodies feature so that our new features will propagate to the child parts. Any features added after the Save Body feature will not update those child parts. We'll roll back to before the shell feature to apply the shell to our new features. A split line projects a sketch onto a face and divides it into multiple separate faces. This is useful for creating items such as decals, and in our case, we'll use the new face to create a logo or an emblem in our design. We'll use the other new faces as an exploration tool to evaluate different color options or surface treatments. 
Let's add a lip and a groove between the two main housings. These fastening features are common in injection molded parts and are huge time savers. We simply fill in the fields with our selections and dimensional values and the features are created, no sketching required. And with that, we have created the lip in one body and the groove in the other body. And roll forward to propagate those changes to the child parts. Now, when we open and update the assembly, it has the new fuller form. Open the rear housing, we see our logo and our groove have been added. Open the front housing, and here's our logo and the lip has been added. All of our changes have been propagated and the assembly and components updated perfectly. The master model technique can speed up your design process getting your products to market faster. You can easily and quickly create multiple parts that share portions of the same overall form. The assembly is created automatically, saving you from adding and managing all those mates. And changes are made once to the master model, and the changes will propagate to all the child parts. You can incorporate virtual prototypes earlier in the design phase on your multi-body master model to increase quality. SolidWorks Plastics will ensure your design can be molded without any short shots or defects. And SolidWorks Visualize is perfect for generating lifelike, high-quality images, presenting different options for colors, textures, and surface treatments. If you would like more information, you can enroll in the surface modeling or advanced part training classes. Both offer lessons in master modeling techniques. Also, the surfacing e-course in MySolidWorks.com has lessons as well. So be the superhero in your company. Try the master model technique on your next unique design. You can reduce errors, increase quality, and get your products to market faster. Thanks for watching.